more interesting by um, doing the same but in a 3D plane. So I'm going to use three points, P, Q and R, each with an X, Y and Z value. I'm going to connect them with vectors, get the normal to the plane and try and draw the plane in MATLAB. So I'm going to put a lot of things on the graph. So I'm going to say hold on. So it will wait for all the objects to be placed. Grid on. And we're also going to have rotate 3D on. So to plot the points, I'm going to use plot 3. P1 will be the X value. P2, P3. And I'm going to make a red circle. So let's plot that first, see what we have. There's our point, and you can see it's in 3D, it can rotate very easy. So I'm going to add the other points. I'm just going to copy and paste, copy, paste, paste. Okay, and then I'm just going to make this Q. And the R point in three space. And let's plot that. I see only two of the points. Let's see where the problem is. R, P, Q, R, it should be there. There we go, it's on the edge there. So let's change the limits of this of the axis. So I'm gonna write x limit, y limit, and z limit, just to scale it a little bit better. And I'm going to take it from say minus five to eight. X minus five to eight, y minus five to eight and z minus 5 to 8. And I'm also going to label. So x label, x, y label, y, and z label, z. Okay, that should look, look a little bit better by now. Let me just see what's going on. Invalid expression. Okay, so I am um, have to put in my brackets. And that should be better now. Okay, so the scaling is done. I've got the labels, and now we're ready to draw the vectors between the points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a V1 that is from P to Q. So I'm going to say Q minus P. V2 is equal to R minus P. Run. So there's my two vectors. V1 is from P to Q, P to R. And then to draw the, the vectors, we need to uh, just create parametric equations, which is fairly easy. I'm going to use a parameter T equal to lin space. If you take 0 to 1, it will connect the two points. So V1x is going to be this 3 times the parameter. You have to know some linear algebra. And then plus the px value, which is 0. So I'm just going to leave that out. V1y will be equal to 4 times the parameter plus 0. V1z be equal to 4 times t, but this time plus 4. And then the second vector, v2x, equals to 2 times t. v2y is equal to 6 times t. And v2z equals to minus 3 times t minus uh, plus 4. And then we're just going to plot. Plot 3. V1x, V1y, V1z, and then 
let's make it blue. And I'm going to just change the line width a little bit to 2. Let's plot and see if we can see our first vector. There we go. And it's connecting the two points using our parametric equations. I'm going to just copy and paste this. Paste. And just change it to our second vector. B2, B2, B2. And we can make this one maybe green. Okay, so there's our two vectors, and it's lying in the plane. So that is the plane that we want to draw in. So to draw the plane, we're going to create a normal vector to the plane by simply doing a cross product. So normal equals the cross product of v1, v2. Let's run it. And there's our normal, minus 36. So that's going to be the A value, 17 is the B value, and 10 is our C value for the plane equation. So if you look here, so if, the, if you want to make a plane, the formula will be your normal A times X minus the point, which for P will be 0, 0, and 4. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to cr uh, just create a unit vector. I'm going to say N equal to n divided by the norm of n. See if it runs. Let's just see what it what it shows. So there's our norm. All right. So once again, we're going to use the parametric equations to draw the norm. So what I'm going to say is the norm x equals n. 1, which is the x value times the parameter, just as we did for the vector. ny equals n2 times the parameter. And then there's no point, it's 0 there. So I don't need to add the 0, but for the z value, n z is equals to n3 times t, the parameter minus 4, plus 4 actually. And then we plot 3 nx, ny, nz. Let's make it uh, also red and line width 2. So that should give our normal, us the normal to the plane. There we go. So there's the word red normal to our plane. And now to draw the plane is fairly straightforward. We use our plane equation, which is going to look something like this. So we know let me just bring this down. So the norm is minus 36, 17, and 10. So our formula is going to be something like this. Draw the plane. So it's going to be 30, minus 36 times x minus 0 plus 17 times y minus 0 plus 10 times z minus 4 and that's going to be equal to 0. So what we want to do is get z on one side. And that is going to look like this. z is equals to minus 36 times x plus 17 times y minus 40 divided by minus 10, the z value. And we're going to say surf, the surface, x, y, z. And we just need to create the values for x and y. And say it's a mesh grid from minus 5. 
five to about eight. Let's see if that draws our surface. And there we go, we've got our three points. P, Q and R, we've got our normal vector to the plane and there's our plane. 